In this video, we will explore real GDP, starting with its basic concept and examples. We will discuss how it's calculated from nominal GDP, we will look at the basics of the GDP deflator, and examine the advantages and limitations of using real GDP for understanding economic growth. We have already covered gross domestic product, GDP, and its key components, the GDP formula, nominal GDP with its formula, as well as the advantages and limitations of nominal GDP in separate videos. Be sure to explore the rest of the videos in this playlist for more insights. Real GDP shows the total value of goods and services produced, but it's adjusted to remove the impact of inflation, rising prices, or deflation, falling prices, giving a clearer picture of actual growth. Before diving into the concept of real GDP, it's important to first understand nominal GDP. I have created a separate, detailed video explaining the concept of nominal GDP for your better understanding. Please check the earlier video on nominal GDP in this playlist for better understanding. Nominal GDP as reported at current market prices, reflecting the total value of goods and services produced in the economy, without adjusting for inflation or deflation. But real GDP takes rising or falling prices into account when calculating the economy's output. Real GDP is calculated from nominal GDP. The process involves adjusting nominal GDP to account for the effects of inflation or deflation, using a price index like the GDP deflator. The GDP deflator measures the overall change in prices for all goods and services, produced domestically within a country's economy, such as India, over a specific period. For example, it compares price levels from 2010, the base year, to 2024, reflecting how much prices have increased or decreased since the base year. Understanding the base year, constant prices, and the GDP deflator are crucial for interpreting economic growth. I will cover these topics with detailed examples in a separate video. In India, the GDP deflator is calculated and issued by the National Statistical Office, NSO, which operates under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, MOSPI. For example, suppose India's nominal GDP in fiscal year 2022 was 200 trillion rupees, and in fiscal year 2023, it increased to 220 trillion rupees. Nominal GDP does not adjust for inflation, so the full 20 trillion rupees rise is recorded as growth, even if a portion of this increase is attributed to a 5% rise in prices caused by inflation, rather than an actual increase in production. Real Gross Domestic Product GDP, calculation formula is Assuming GDP deflator for fiscal year 2023 is approximately 105. Assuming nominal GDP for fiscal year 2023 is approximately 220 trillion rupees, which reflects both price increases and production growth. This line shows the formula for calculating real GDP from nominal GDP using the GDP deflator. The real GDP of 209.52 trillion rupees removes the effect of the inflation, showing the actual increase in production. The difference between nominal GDP and real GDP highlights the impact of inflation. Advantages of using real GDP 1. Measures true economic growth. Real GDP adjusts for inflation or deflation, so it gives a clear picture of how much the economy is really growing. It focuses on the actual increase in production, not just rising prices. 2. Useful for policy decisions. Real GDP helps governments and central banks make better decisions to grow the economy, control rising prices, and solve economic problems. Disadvantages or limitations of using real GDP 1. Does not address income inequality. Real GDP, after adjusting for inflation, shows the total value of what a country produces. However, it doesn't reveal how the money is shared among people. Some may be very poor while others are extremely rich, and real GDP doesn't show this imbalance.